looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Are they making us record this? Oh crap, it's on, isn't it? <laughs> um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're going to get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line. And keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you toss the tape and we'll start a new one. Through. ahead. Should be our final stop. Watch your footing. Looks like a 
powers out in this section. Look at this place. Scribes have a field day in here. Transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core, but it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here to watch our backs. Restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. rating of 96.7%. Oh my god, are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go.
going smoother, but mission accomplished. Where do you think you're going? We have a lot to discuss. Paladin dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. I suppose that's it then. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. Supervisor Green. Green's the name and trading's the game. Ready to bargain in the garden? You sound like a game show host. That's the correct answer. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, should we tell the lucky contestant what fabulous prize he's won? Uh, sure. Okay. Right this way, please. Let's take a look at your fabulous prize! Green. It's a brand new car! Wow! Now, if you've already got the latest in sleek, stylish, atomic-powered automation, you can also take your winnings in the form of a cash prize. How does 100 cap sound? I've got an idea. Let's make a deal. I like it. How about 150 caps? I'll take the cash prize. Here you go. And if you want to use your winnings to make a few purchases from Robco, we certainly won't complain. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, it's been a real... Green. Ready to begin your fabulous shopping spree? What have you got? If you act now, you can choose from one of these fabulous prizes. All the arms and ammunition you can get your hands on, plus... Medical supplies and general good. Mm -hmm. All right. Facility run entirely by robots. 
there's not even one person here? That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient, with no need for human guidance. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. What became of Dr. Gray? Like so many others, he died in the war. It was a terrible loss. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Why did Dr. Gray give you these unusual personalities? Genius is restless, darling. It abhors stagnation. Dr. Gray was tired of the standard Mr. Handy personality. He looked to his favorite television characters for inspiration, and we... Are the result. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. The question, really. Tell me, darling, what do you think of the water around here? It's awful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Pressure is down, radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. What do you need me to do? Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Bring me some new fruits for seed. And there'll be caps in your pocket. Off you go, then. Supervisor Brown. Caps for new fruits. That's the way.
Island and Dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Good. Need something in this shit? Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Good, you're back. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Recruit? After all I did to help, I was expecting more. Hey, consider yourself lucky. It took me more than a month of training before they let me run my first mission. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. Got enough trouble stomping muties and ferals. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Are you gonna teach me this code of ethics? If you were paying attention in Arcjet, you should have learned some of it already. The rest will become apparent as you spend time with your fellow soldiers. Now, since I know you're eager to get started, I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. Re still giving you the cold shoulder. I can handle it. If you could, you'd be the first. Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shoves it aside. I'll just stay out of his way for now. That would be best. Give him time. He'll come around. So? Are you ready to take on your first assignment? What exactly does the scribe do for the Brotherhood? We do everything that the pilots and the soldiers need to keep all of their operations running. All the scientific research, the repairs, the tactical planning, you name it. <laughs> we do all of the technical work. Of course, I'm a field scribe, so I'm boots on the ground with the soldiers, but I kind of like pulling the trigger every once in a while. Anyway, I won't bore you with any more of the details. You ready to head out on your assignment? Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have a list of locations that contain artifacts we need you to recover in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck, and be careful. Excuse me. All right, out with it. What's your game? Game? What do you mean? I can usually size people up at a glance, but you... You're different. And it's bugging the heck out of me. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? 
What can I say that will make you trust me? There's nothing you can say. Trust is earned through action. Nothing more, nothing less. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. It's so exciting being new to the Commonwealth. There must be so much technology out there that our scribes haven't seen yet. <laughs>